Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Bannerlord campaign. Now then, um, in the f previous episode, it was basically just the f first tutorial and the first bits of, or rather, not the first tutorial, the tutorial and the first bits of the storyline. Our brother and younger brother and sister were uh, captured by some raiders um, and taken to a slave market, I suppose, and our brother went to uh, go help free them. Our job, on the other hand, is to. Oh, saving, okay is to, number one, uh, collect enough money to pay off the, um, well, the slavers that are currently holding our brother and sister, as well as gain enough no uh, notori notoriety, is that the word? I believe it is. Um, that will allow our brother to then find us once he has collected our brother and sister. Um, so here we are. I will really quickly go into the tavern here. Is wait, I just forgot to check first. Uh, no, unfortunately, there is no companion here. There is also currently no tournament here, which is also let down. But um, Tablut Ahoy! I will really quickly beat this guy for the five hundred dollars. See you in a bit. Okay, so this was pretty easy, pretty quick, about, well, I think it was less than a minute. Um, still, we'll be cutting that out. Um, there you go. What is your mission? Rival gang moving in at Bostrum. Nah, don't really, uh, aren't really necessary. Ah, aren't really interested in the gang wars and whatnot. Uh, Arena. Siga. Interesting. Okay, so this also changes as the game goes on. That's awesome. Uh, enter the arena. Let's just uh, introduce ourselves to the man here. As they during the games, all the best fighters in the area team pummel each other. Okay, um. So, if you have to the prizes for the tournament. Uh. Are there any tournaments going on? Ficona and Sineopa. Okay, so I don't think they're on the way there, but hey. Uh, for, right, still go to the trade and see, can we get, okay, there is some hardwood, it's not a lot of it, um, and it is, it's actually not that expensive now that I look at it, I might actually want to, uh, buy all, not all of it, definitely not all of it, let's see, we'll buy 10, and real quickly go into the smithy and refine I'm gonna get into charcoal, uh, charcoal, get some smithing level going up, and also let's just smelt this. We didn't learn anything new, that's too bad, but this is essentially what we're gonna do as we keep going. Uh, towards Tamnu, I believe that is connected with Shiba Zumar Castle, right? Tamnu Castle, never mind. Let us make sure we keep an eye out for any unwanted attention, aka any looters. Okay, there we go. And we managed to make our way to Tamno Village needs drawn animals. Not really necessarily interested in that. What we are interested in are these uh, recruits here. La Mesa is connected to Shiba Zuma Castle. Uh, the reason we're specifically looking for... Um, Feasts that are connected, sorry, villages that are connected to castles is the, where, that that is where you can actually get these uh, higher tier, uh, higher tier troops. The Asarai youth are the noble troops of the um, Asarai clan. Is that those are normal looters? They we're just armless travelers. Okay, so they were heading our way, but then suddenly decided to change their tune. They are now harmless travelers. They say. I think not. Surrender or die. Uh, and we will attack. Now, our current guys are... Oh, God, we're fighting in a village. That's not too good. Uh, also, our guys are currently melee. They do not possess the uh, javelins yet. They will soon... Give them hell! We'll take out our javelins, though. Tell them to charge into the enemy. They're gonna... Yeah, we need to get ourselves a better horse as well, <laughs> as soon as possible. 
I feel so slow in comparison. Where actually are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. So they managed to skewer one of them. Please survive. Oh, we do not have the reach yet. And we're whiffing. No, don't get killed. Please do not get killed. For the love of God, please do not. taken him down. He's dead. Okay, we took damage there, but we killed one of them. Just keep throwing into the... And we're out. Take out the storm. Stabby, stabby, stab. Let's get out of the water. Okay, I'm gonna come from behind. Technically, this is behind. Me, huh? Oh, they're hitting my horse. They're, and also they hit my leg. That's why it's damage there. Oh, lesson learned. Do not fight in a village. These fights are quite annoying. Will not lie. Did I only use one asset? I or did I use? Lose? Wait, I recruited. Uh, yeah, we lost one. But the other four. Are up for upgrades, which is very good. Uh, let's see, is anything better than what I have? Yes, indeed. Uh, those are worse. Okay, we don't really have any headgear yet, so we'll take that. Nothing else is necessarily useful, right? And we didn't really get any prisoners or anything. Uh, we are also kind of low on money, but. Let me just, yeah, close this. I will pay 100 for these guys to actually get javelins, though. It's going to be very, very nice. Um, let's see. The quickest way for us to really make a very quick buck would be to just head over to the Nostica, uh, make a top loot bet, get some more money going there. Whew. Okay, so who's in Oh, there's also a tournament going on there. Good. Sorry, I, s I thought it was Hus and Fug that was uh, currently under siege, but no, it's Shiba Zumar Castle over there. Luckily enough, the villages still remain of the culture of their original owners, so we will still be able to recruit uh, the Asarai uh, noble youth from them. Um, I don't think we'll be making any bets necessarily in this tournament, uh, simply because we are at 60% HP and I do not think... Uh, I wouldn't completely bet the on this one. Oh, I whiffed that one hard. Okay, these tend to just become a messy melee. Let's just try and make sure that it's mostly our guys that survive. Ooh, that one almost scared me from the behind. Ooh, okay. That's a cat right down, good. Hit him, avoided him. Be one of mine. Hit this guy, and also one of mine. So we are trying to first get rid of the reds here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. Start paying attention to each other. Good. Okay. Hit him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. He's going for the horse. I do like that the AI is actually smart enough to try and... Uh, ow, I took a hit there. It's two on two on... Okay, that's two on one on one on two. In that case, let's get rid of the green ones. Green and red, they need to fall. Then we can fall, uh, focus on the, blue, uh, the blues. We can let them just kind of go at each other. Oh, okay, never mind. Would you believe me that that guy is actually now more dangerous on the on the ground than he was before when he was mounted? Oh, he actually remounted himself. Okay. Okay, 
wanted to avoid that because if we take another hit, then that's basically our due versus. Okay, that's red gone. If I can get this. No, I missed. Okay, he tried getting me, but whiffed. If we can get that Imperial Equite, it's basically us and the blue team going forward. Ah, okay. He's got armor. He's got plenty of armor. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. No, I thought he was going to go for the Equite. There, we got him. Okay, our team is through. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We can take... I mean, we can fall now if we want to. Or rather, if necessary. But it's really not. So let's just get down instead. Okay, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. They're all going to be one-on-ones from this point on. Uh, skip, skip, skip. And you know what? Sure, I'll do a little bit here. There's a one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Sorry, a one-on-one -on -one I can actually win. In fact, it's faster than him, so we just keep swinging. There we go. It's not very interesting, but if it's a one-on-one -on -one, uh, and they're not like a companion or something like that, they're usually a little bit slower than you, even if you have a pretty low one-handed skills. Um, and with that in mind, I think we can beat all of these. We uh, the weapons uh, are the weapons that you get from the uh, Tournament Masters, but the armor, you actually wear your own. So we are very much uh, weak in comparison to these guys. Oh, and we're out of money to bet. So, uh, yeah, if we lose this, we're out of money. But if we win this, we gain 20. That's two, that's three, and that's four. Yeah, none of them, for some reason, none of them actually bother defending themselves. While companions and like those, um, you know, how every Warband uh, game like also had a couple of characters that appeared in tournaments, uh, this game does the same thing. It has a couple of uh, characters that do appear in tournaments. There were none of them actually here, uh, but as you can imagine, those were usually uh, harder. Like for instance, what was his name? I think it was Keiji uh, in um, the Gekka Kudra series. Uh, right, okay, so gang needs recruits, and Mad Dodger needs help with brigands. I mean, sh you know what? Yeah, that might actually be, uh... Who are you and what do you want? Do. Who are you and what do you want? I'm Meditor, a merchant here in the Nostica. I own a wood workshop here. I know your name, I hear you recently caught some bandits around here. I say good work, and I think other merchants around here will agree. I didn't really catch them. They, I didn't manage to keep any of them in living. <laughs> Cleanse the roads of these vermin so the trade can flow. Um, yes, we've had some troubles with bandits, but recently they've uh, we've had a lot more than our share. The hills outside of town are infested. A lot of us are afraid to take their goods to market. Uh, some have been murdered. People tell me I'm getting so desperate maybe I'll turn bandit myself. It's bad. Um, so you want me to hunt them down? Well, sir, you'll never get all those outlaws, but if word gets around that you took down some of the most vicious ones, let's say two bands of brigands, robbing us wouldn't seem so lucrative. Maybe the rest of it would go bother someone else. Do you think you can help us? That depends how many men do you think are required for the job. I bet even a party of ten properly trained men accompanied by one of your lieutenants can handle any band they find. Give them six days, say, that will make the, the difference. So yeah, you can send your companions together with a number of your men to do some of these qu uh, quests, but uh, we'll just do this ourselves. Very good, I will be waiting for the good news then. Once you return, I'm ready to offer a reward of 550 dinners. Okay. Just make sure that you defeat at least two bands, no more than a day's ride away from here. No more than a raid day's ride away from here. So basically any any bandits. So that's looters, uh, forest bandits, uh, hill bandits, anything that appears. Um, as soon as they get within like one day's riding distance, as he said, they will get a, a little quest notification next to them. Uh, which we can then uh, attack. Uh, we will also be selling the looter's gear. Uh, this is definitely a much, much better spear than what we have, so hallelujah for us winning that one. <laughs> um, is that a better... Yeah, we have a Sumter horse. We should at least get, like, a Midlands Palfrey, right? Uh, or a Nahasha, uh, Nahasawi. 
Wait, which one's actually better? Speed 54, that one's better. Charge damage is actually lower than this one. Uh, Step a hunter. It's actually a war mount. It's not that expensive either. 667. Mm, but we kind of need the money. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. We are, after all, in a... Um, no, not the arena, the tavern. We are, after all... In an empire city, so I can just go and do a round of tablut real quick. There we go. Okay, that one took a little bit longer, about a minute longer, simply due to the fact that um, the guy was essentially calling my bluffs, quote unquote, um, and moving his troops or rather his pawns around, um, they, they, they refusing to <laughs> essentially attack, uh, just like I was refusing to try and attack him. Uh, let's really quickly, let's see if we can get rid of the hat and the shorts here. There we go. We can refine just to get us a little bit higher, uh, on the experience there. Uh, let's go into trade. Uh, we will want to keep these. There we go. Uh, and let's see. I think I want, I actually want a step hunter. Or do we want a Darshi horse? Which one's better? Maneuver. This one's man this one's maneuver is better, and its speed is also better. The damage is about the same. You know what? Sure, we'll we'll take a Darshi horse. Uh, wait. This one's two hundred more. Twenty six. Speed is lower. Maneuver. Nah, I like the maneuverability here. And we will also keep the Sumter Force, which will give us a little bit more uh, inventory capacity. Um, Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. We will pay some money here, which is fine. Uh, and let's see. Shiba Zumar is that... Yeah, Shiba Zumar Castle, so we can head there and hope that we can still get some more recruits. I'd love to get like a couple more. There we go. Replace the one we lost. Our wages are fine. 26. That's not that much. Uh, up, 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 up. Sorry. Forgot to. No, please let me click on you. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Uh, my name is Kirin, sir. Yes. Okay. I'm Tyus of the Bun Cube. The most ancient and noble of the asset I need in ages. I'll deal with those who keep their oaths if you're one of those who don't value their word, don't waste my time. Okay, what can you tell me about that? A sad day for the Bonakir, but we have our legends. There was a warrior named Nimrod of the Bonisaran. He was great, but arrogant. Of course, the young people loved him. He wanted to lead men to fight with the Empire, and though there was no gain for us, we keep left. Onkid can be weak sometimes. Many kill the youth went with him. They died in their hundreds, and there was no gain except for Nima, who for some reason couldn't serve the healer. It was despicable how they fawned. Of course, Nima's arrogance doubled and doubled again, and then he dealt us a great insult. I will not say what that insult was, because it did no longer exist. We wiped it out in the traditional way. You may ask someone else about that. Okay. So there was basically a blood feud of some sort. Uh, I, think, I think if we get one more, we should be fine. Uh, let's see. We oh, we get a level. Okay, so we'll put one more final point into endurance. Uh, writing is gonna be fine. Charm, throwing. So throwing, charm, athletics would be also good. Uh, we could put one more point into stewardship. Mm, or do we just straight up put a point into charm as we go? Actually, let's put a point into polar. Let's do that. Oh, and there's another Neretis Folly. Uh, Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. Quest at least until I find out who you are, anyway. At least I'm tell wow, <laughs> that's quite an interesting way to talk. My name is Kilion, sir. May I ask your name? I am Adram of the Banu Saran. 
a clan of the Asarai. I am Lord of Husenfulk and Razi. Oh, so, okay. You're basically on the front line. Or rather, your city is. Uh, I'm always looking for good fighters. If you ask about me, I suspect you'll be told that I take good care of my men. Okay? Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pandria? There was never a prouder moment for the Banus Bani Saran. Oh, okay. The bravest and most valiant son of our clan, Nimr, led off a large group of Asarai warriors to fight for the Empire, for glory and glory, for gold and glory. I went with them. When we saw the Batanian archers come down from the hills, Nimr was ready. He gave the word. We held our shields over our heads as the arrows rained down, then threw our javelins and charged. We cut them down. Then the Vlandian knights came. We were attacked on two sides, and the Emperor, who could have sent men to save us, took his time. Perhaps he wanted the best of the Asarai to die, lest we become too powerful later. But that betrayal was nothing compared to what we received from our fellow Asarai of the Banukil. Nimr returned in well-deserved glory. A daughter of the Banukil took an interest in him, and they had a secret affair, as the youth sometimes do. As heroes do. But Nimr's axe wounded the Kildi's pride. They kidnapped him, slew him, and hung him in a cage in the market. We will forgive the Emperor and the Vlandians. The Kildis. Better not ask me that. Okay, so we found out what happened to Nimr. Uh... Burn. <laughs> That's bloody. Yeah, I'll take one more. For now. We'll get some more later. Okay, so now we have to ride about here and see if we can possibly find any looters or anything of that sort that we might be able to attack. We need to defeat two parties. Two parties, boys. How is there... Why is that... Why was that mission even a thing if there's nobody around here? Usually if uh, there's a quest like that... There's usually quite a bit of actual bandits like, running about, but not in this case. Come, come now, are you serious? Okay. There's one band of looters. We're just armless travelers! Yeah, and I'm just uh, a bounty hunter. Let's put it that way. Uh, okay, so we do have true. Oh god, this is not gonna be a very good battle yield. Uh, After me! Let's actually. I don't want our guys to run into the water. Now the new recruits will attack. Our slightly more experienced ones are actually gonna just attack from the side and throw some javelins. Yeah, just like that, through all of them, through absolutely all of them. That was a headshot. Ooh, and that was an unintentional def uh, <laughs> deflection attack. Oh, can I please hit? Come on, come on, come on. Stop. Whiffing. There we go. One more. There we go. Okay, take out our new spear we received. There we go. All of our guys are... Uh, yeah, none of our guys have fallen yet, which is great. Do, oh, because he was already dead by the time I got to him. Got it. Is that it? That's it. Okay, uh, we also got some uh, renown from that. Excellent. And we will start collecting prisoners as well. Uh, we are collecting prisoners because there is a quest in certain villages. Perfect. We actually got some more food. Excellent. Uh, I, I was going to say that uh, there are some missions in villages... Uh, with mines where they require some manual labors, uh, laborers. And uh, as you can imagine, they're very happy to collect uh, on our prisoners when we have them. Is this already too far? Probably. So we're just doing the rounds, trying to find one more group of no there we go um it's 15 is it a little bit much i don't think it is 
Uh, pole arm. There we go. Uh, plus two damage with pole arms while mounted, or plus two damage with pole arms on foot. Of course, we're going to go from while mounted. Scouting. Uh, plus two percent travel speed during daytime, and plus five percent travel speed during nighttime. With scout, if we're the scout of the party, ten percent sight range during daytime and campaign map, or thirty percent sight range during nighttime and campaign map. Um. We're gonna do most of our moving and fighting during the daytime, so let's just go with that one. And I... probably one more of our warriors is ready to upgrade. No, the looter actually would like to join us, but of course we're gonna say no to that one. Uh, we're back at 100. I do not... let's actually let them cross. Come on. There. You I got just didn't want to fight him on the uh, on the bridge. It would cause too much trouble for our ranged units. Uh, not if you give up now. Yeah, of course they won't. Uh, no, cut. Uh, I mean they are. No, they're coming across the river. Can we possibly? Follow me. Let's have our guys follow. Let's try and make it so that we actually fight on. Solid ground, shall we? What? Okay, <laughs> got a bit of whiplash there. <laughs> okay, now let's wait for them to actually cross the river. Because, yeah, we're gonna be sitting ducks if we actually get into the river, which is not something I would like to do. It's really not. Right there. There you come. Okay. Now. Let's hope our guys are going to the water once we do this. Ooh, I almost killed one of ours. That wasn't very smart of me. Missed that. It does help, of course, it does help. But you don't need to. Ah, oh, I missed that one. He didn't. Nice. Anything that's the last one, right? Yeah. So we lost another Asterai youth, which is upsetting. But hey. uh, another one actually leveled up, which is good. Nah, we'll let the peasants go. So we have six Aserai tribal horsemen now. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, we've collected some looters. Uh, have we collected anything good here? Anything, anything better than what we have is essentially what I'm looking for, but no. No, we did not. There we go. 
done with that. We got the money. Uh, writing, let's see, 20% hit points to your mount, or as party leader, plus 10% hit points to the mount of, your tr of troops in your formation. Or personal, negative 50% chance of your mount dying or becoming lame after it falls in battle, or... Uh, we're not going to be a governor, so this is definitely uh, the better choice. And we do also have another focus point to put somewhere. Let's see, throwing, we're good. Smithing, we're good. Writing, we're good. Um, steward, medicine. You know what? Let's put a point into charm. Uh, apply. Okay. Uh, have they already won this battle? Wait, did they... Did they defend it? They actually managed to defend it. Look at that. Cool. Let's head to Shiba Zoomer. See if we can get... Nope. No more recruits here. Let's just hit the person real quick here for some time. And head to the arena. There we go. We finally... Hamindar the fatherless. He's generous, he's daring, he's merciful, he's calculating. One-handed, bow, riding, charm, steward. I mean, he's... Probably gonna be expensive as hell, isn't he? <laughs> um, but let's talk. To Peace him. to you, stranger. What is your name? My name is Killian, sir. Tell me about yourself. I am from one of the Highland clans in the Far East. I do not know if you are familiar with the ruins. I will try to explain. A man of another clan slew my father. My father has slain his uncle many years before. It was my job to avenge my father, but the plague carried off his killer first. So I would be expected to kill his brother instead. This is how it is, guys. Jesus. I wanted to go to the other clan and negotiate a settlement. I had always had a talent for settling conflicts. And in this case, it seemed to me f clearly that fate had not ended the feud. But my mother begged me not to. My cousins begged me not to. They said I should spill blood, not words. My family said others would mock my father's memory. They said no one would fear to would fear to steal our sheep and horses to molest my sisters. They told me I had a choice, do my duty, or I would no longer be of their blood. So be it, I chose exile. Why should, the me why should more men die? What, does no one respect your parents anymore? <laughs> a noble decision indeed. Uh, if an enemy chooses to stand in battle line and face my arrows, I will not hesitate to kill him. But our feuds, I cannot accept that. I have no choice but to kill a man who had no choice but to be my enemy. I left my people. Here I can choose what I do. Oh, are you actually a Kuzain, I guess? Right now I'm looking for work. If you have anything to offer, I could use you. Oh, he's actually not even that expensive. Look at that. 554. I mean, he seems like a very good, um... Very good one, not gonna lie. Sure. Let's take him with us. Um, do you need any- wait, I actually saw that we got some fine arm wraps. There we go. That's something good for us. Uh, nothing else though. Let's see you though. Rami Hamindar, the fatherless. Uh, worn scarf. We could probably get you some better stuff there. Uh... Probably the best we have. Yep. And as far as weaponry goes, you have, what is that? A rusty simple saber. This falchion is already better. It's a balanced falchion. Enjoy. Okay. So we got plenty of grain. We got some fish probably from the um, loot that we received. So let's sell that, and let's sell the rest of the loot here. No. Oh, what did I do? Back up. Back up. Sorry about that. I realized I didn't even check for the boots for him. There we go. Fine wrapped. Uh, what shit was this one? There you go. And it was the balance falchion. There. Uh, the rest can be sold. Except for the weapons. The weapons we will be smelting. And let's see, can we get some more food over here? Uh, 
some more different kinds of food, that is, for a possible good price. Uh, seems to be neutral. Beer here is pretty good, it seems. Meat is very expensive here. Um, that's it. The cheese is expensive. We can get the grapes. There. And this is good for stewardship as well. And we are slightly over capacity, but we have plenty of grain, so let's just put some grain back. Um, we still get some money. Good. Uh, and nothing else really to do here. So we are now eight men. We need to find more. Are those... Those are looters. But we need to get some more missions, some more quests. Gang needs recruits. Not like that. Let's head over to Erzen over there. Oh, those are stuff bandits. Those are actually dangerous to me right now. Do they fancy attacking? They don't. Okay. I'm just curious if this has... Okay. Okay, they're not brave enough either. They would be brave enough with the looters there, it seems. <laughs> okay, let's just head in here. No, draw animals. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this place has an iron man. So uh, places like this tend to have uh, the requiring manual labor um, sort of quest. Um, we will wait here for some time just for these guys to disperse a little bit. I don't really want to fight them just yet. We are still... Oh, there's actually a hideout. Yeah, there's another reason why that place should actually have that quest. But it does not. So it's okay. Alright, so... Um... I believe that in between this episode and the next one, I will just go and visit a couple of uh, a couple of different... Or rather, not different, but a couple of other uh, Empire cities. Uh, do a bit of our... Uh, board game plays, board game bets, get us a little bit more gold, uh, after which we can come back here, collect a few more troops, um, so do we have, uh, I would say we should have about 20 or so, uh, how many can we actually have? Yeah, I think if we get up to about 20, uh, Asarai troops will be good. Uh, and we will also, because they will be, uh, they are of course mounted, they are cavalry units, we will be keeping our speed, which will enable us to move around a lot faster, uh, for the early part of the game. And anyway guys, that's it for this one, thank you very much for joining me, I have been Kaiser, I will see you guys next time, and until then, as always, at Gloriam.